What was your reaction uh, when you were named Teacher of the Year? Uh, disbelief. Um, humbly honored. I look at the field of talent that was there that night and just the teaching community as a whole in that, in that room. And I, I don't put myself in the same line, um, same pedestal as those individuals. Um, so much talent promise and compassion in our district. It's just nice to be in their company. Awesome. Um, and so I guess, um, what's your teaching philosophy? You know, how do you kind of approach the classroom and, um, you know, trying to teach math, math literacy to these students? Yep. I'll let them know that I care um, about them, first and foremost, that I have passion for what I'm teaching and that it can be meaningful to them. They can invest themselves only as so far as I invest in them. And if I can reciprocate that as often as I can, then I think I'm on the right path being transparent, building the relationship from day one, and being able to step back to say, they're in eighth grade, they're in seventh grade. Be empathetic, be understanding, be patient, be kind. That's great. Um, and I understand kind of one of the, um, uh, kind of a usual lesson plan, um, trying to equate emojis uh, with uh, understanding, uh, I guess, mathematics, and can, can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, it's, it's a means of communication. Um, these kids are completely tied into their, their phones these days. That's how they communicate. Math is a different form of doing so. If we can get our kids understanding that when we take a situation, we break it apart. Rip it apart like an emoji. Symbols on their own mean nothing. Take the symbols, bring them together, there's meaning there. So allowing the kids to see that there's meaning in what we're doing, making it relatable, giving it some kind of authentic purpose, then the symbols start to speak a little more loudly, a little more clearly. It allows them to tie in a little more closely and it makes it a little more meaningful for them too.